Hello fellow farmers and happy Friday to you. So last week, last week in recording time, was Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day for you people in Australia and England and Canada that celebrate that. And uh, Christmas Eve was beautiful. It was beautiful weather. It was t-shirt weather. I was walking around in a t-shirt and jeans and it was great. Christmas Day, winter came. It got cold and then it got colder and kept getting colder until Christmas night. It got into the teens for like 12 hours straight. It was bad. That's teens Fahrenheit, by the way. And bad stuff happened. And then worse stuff happened. And it was just what I was afraid was gonna happen, but it happened a little bit faster than I thought it would. I thought I had until January to worry about that, but no, it didn't. So the bad stuff that happened was this level right here, this little waterer, the, uh, the end horizontal chicken water nipple from Rent-A-Coop, um, which I bought them off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below. And um, the O-ring on it, Right there, you see the O-ring, the little black thing right there. The O-ring busted and there's also a little chipping right there. That busted from the ice and the freezing and it caused a leak, which caused this, this water right here to leak and drip down, filling up this little area, pulling up and then eventually raining on the level down below. Here, I'll show you. These guys right here got wet. Wet plus freezing temperatures is really not a good thing for quail because they are not smart enough to get out of the rain. So let's let's move back up here. So I fixed that problem by replacing this one right here, which wasn't a big deal. I just had to order more of these horizontal chicken water nipples from Renacoop. Don't get the cheap Chinese ones, get the ones from Renacoop. It's like $2 more, but it's worth it because you're getting a better product. Anyways, um, so that was that problem. That was the bad problem. The worst problem is, is that on Boxing Day, on Saturday, I came out to find this water right here and this one right here that these horizontal chicken water nipples completely busted out and froze out. And water was gushing out of the PVC pipes to the point that cue some sort of visual video clip of uh, the atomic bomb dropping in the ocean or Niagara Falls flowing over or whatever kind of thing. Water was flowing like crazy and that's a problem because uh, first off it means, means that they didn't have water. Um, it also means that they could get wet and very wet and like I said with freezing temperatures that's a bad thing. So I fixed that problem by cutting off the ends with the PVC cutter which is very awkward because the quail were getting in my way and having my arm maneuvered in there but anyways I digress. So the, I finally got the ends cut off. I put on a new PVC cap. I put in uh, a, a replacement chicken water nipple and then the problem was better and then the bad problem happened of just the slow leaks. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off the Band-Aid and I'm gonna finally fix the problem for real, for good. Um, I found, I think I found a solution to the problem using some, some uh, experience and some knowledge that I have from my old channel. Um, and also some ideas that I got from another video that I saw a few years ago. I'm gonna try to make this water uh, winterized and uh, freeze proof. And so anyways, let's let's see how it goes. I'll probably mess up, I'll probably fail. I'll show it to you. Uh, I'll put it in fast motion um, so that you don't have to sit there and watch it all and listen to whatever equipment's going on in the background. So anyways, let's see how it goes, stay tuned.
Okay, so there, I found more pieces. It, it came with extra pieces. Oh, I realize what the extra pieces are for, darn it. Yeah, it, yeah, I messed up. Okay, so for real now, there you go. There you have it. The finished skeletal PVC structure uh, dry fit. I have not put the put the uh, glue in yet, uh, which by the way, this is the stuff I was talking about, which is absolutely ridiculous. Primer is still good. This 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 is still good. But the uh, the glue, the cement part of it. Okay, let me put this down so I can show you here. Show you how bad it is. Sorry, I only got one hand really. All right, so I used it one time, then I brought it inside and kept it inside. And this is what I was left with. I mean, look, look at that. It's, that's like, I've seen loogies that are more viscous than that. that that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I have to go buy some more of that. Also, I need to install the uh, horizontal chicken water nipples. Uh, these, this is the new pack I just got. Um, and this is the piece right here, this little black piece right here. This is the key part. I'll make a nice little uh, snowman nose if you're missing out. But anyways, um, this is the key piece right here that you really need uh, to make it a lot easier, and in my opinion, possible. Um, I keep it with it, usually in that little package and then uh which once again this is an affiliate link so if you buy like a bajillion of them I, i'll make enough money to buy a stamp to send you a thank you note um and then i'll install the uh valve obviously to be able to turn it off just in case when and if it does freeze but other than that uh so in install these uh just put the glue on and then finally install the piece of the resistance and 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 that's it um you know, because I'm super fancy and never took French in my life. Uh, but, uh, and then there was another piece that makes it completely freeze resistant. Um, and then another piece that makes it automated, I guess you would say. So, stay tuned for that. So here's the finished product of the skeleton of the quail water. Stay tuned next time so you can see the final working product it is flowing it is freeze resistant and i will tell you every single part that it takes to make it freeze resistant and keep it flowing be sure to subscribe turn on notifications give me a comment down below let me know if you have any questions or any thoughts Till next time thank you for stopping by and be nice to each other